Watch for the movement. Here we go. Double jump. We landed. We landed in the middle. What? What? What is... Okay. Okay, now. This is where everything could change. So what is going on, guys? This is Ryan here, and welcome back to Hello Neighbor. So, something pretty crazy happened last night, guys. As most of you know, I uploaded the first part of Hello Neighbor Act 3, and I asked for a crazy like goal of 25,000, and needless to say, you're seeing this video today, guys, because you absolutely destroyed every goal I set forth, and I can't even believe that. As of right this moment in time, yesterday's video is at 34,000 thousand likes. I, I can't even process that number. <laughs> what the heck? Needless to say, for this video, this is going to be it, guys. The finale of Hello Neighbor, the story mode edition. I mean, you're not hearing no dramatic music. We're keeping it as it is with the menu theme for this one. Instead of doing a crazy intro for this one, I actually wanted to reminisce in the past with this game and how it has changed my channel for the better. October the 9th, 2016. That was the day where I first uploaded Hello Neighbor. And I remember it was just after finishing the Five Nights at Freddy's sister location. And ironically, we did FNAF 6 and straight into this one again. I remember back then I did a load of horror and I wasn't sure how many people would even like the Hello Neighbor for Footage, but it turned out to be a massive hit and I mean here we are today I'm also gonna set a crazy challenge once again for you all because you amazed me yesterday Can this video right here get even more likes than yesterday's video? I mean 34,000 is absolutely mind-blowing I can't even process that so I won't be disappointed if we don't get close that is a crazy goal either way though guys I want to get straight into this story. Let's freaking do this <laughs> For this episode, we have three main things we gotta do. Number one, we have to use the green key and try and beat the school mini game one more time. Same exact thing also for the red key, so we gotta make our way over to this weird floating thing and we gotta conquer whatever is inside. Then the final thing, guys, and the most exciting part, we're getting into that freaking basement. So I would love to say let's get straight into this, but uh, if I walk through the door, I mean, um... What? Yeah. I don't think the neighbor really wants us to uh, get into this. Maybe running in isn't the best solution for us to actually access this house. I mean, he's kitted the place out with more security cameras than need be. So because of that, what I'm thinking is if I take this teapot right here, I'm going to go around the side and try and break one of the windows, and that may be a good access point avoiding all security cameras. Hey, okay, swift move, swift move. we got to get round the windows here. Ducking as well as we go. We do not want him to see our head. If we smash this window here, we can jump straight through and get into that minigame instantly. You may hear that though. So let's be sharpish. Let's be freaking. So I've ran back here. He's actually put a bear trap right by where the fierce school minigame is. We did open this door last time, which saved us some time. And here we go. Still as basy as ever in this freaking place. So we know how this worked last time. This door. Ooh. I mean, he's like super roly poly, isn't he? Like, what? He's quick. So I gotta try and remember how things flow. We can leave once the school teacher isn't doing anything, but the students want to catch us, and yeah, they're gonna. Bro, the teacher is so quick! I'm wondering if there's some kind of strat in order to actually beat this thing, though. Maybe we can hide from these guys. Hold up, if I crouch... What? But that's an ability. <laughs> so we can't crouch from them, yet the moment we move... Look at this! I don't get no time! Um, I don't understand how we do this one. So I made it now to the first lot of these lockers. I don't know how we're gonna get past the teacher. You can see her, she's right there. I ain't got no time to move. Can I move and like move up a little bit? She's kind of stationary at the desk. I've moved up somewhat. That's slow progress. She's right there. She's right there, dude. Okay, I gotta move, I guess. Like, do I run now? If I make some ground. This, uh, this still makes no sense. Come on. This one's good. Okay, I think the teacher's right there. Get in, get in, get in, get in. So we're in. I don't see the teacher nowhere. That's not really a good sign. I think she's to my right, but where? I don't know. I can hear her. I can actually hear her this time. What is she doing? Let me just exit a sec. I need to see. Um, okay, I don't see. She knows I'm here. The teacher is just there. She's not doing nothing. She just stands there. This has been about like six or seven alarm bell rings now. Wait for the next ring, come on. She's gotta move. Is it now? Okay, she left. I gotta- guys, I don't know what else is happening. Um, I'm gonna make some- I can't believe you've done this. <sighs> ah, my goodness, man, that took way too long. The bells are still ri- Imagine if you could get caught during this. I mean, technically we're about to. Now we gotta press space, push the dude back, get the freak off me, and let me through that exit. 
All right, and then we can use what appears to be the white key to open the white lock. And I guess this is another way into the house. Okay, I'm seeing this. So thank goodness we never, ever have to... Hang on, let me just test this ability out. Sit the freak down! The next part of this right here, then, is to actually do the red key minigame. Now, I do not have an umbrella, and the neighbor is still apparently following me somewhere. But looking at things, we can just simply walk across the wood right here. Hang on, let me see. Yes! And then we can make our way over and straight down here. Ignoring all sounds, let's open this door and... Whoa! It's kind of kitted out with all the things we need. I think this is actually accurate as to what we have to climb. All right, guys, here we go. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. There is more watching. Now, still, these things have not truly been explained. Maybe they will in the basement, though, and it's all going to amount to something that makes sense. First jump of many, we're going to jump over here and straight into this book. We've made it nice and simple. Use the tuna can to climb up, and then let's just keep making our way up. Give me that cup and freaking take that, you glass of ass dinger. Then we can use this to perch ourselves up. And it looks like we're pretty much just running in straight lines for the most part. There's an arrow pointing up here, and there seems to be some kind of electrical main circuit board. If I jump just over here nicely. Load ourselves into the toaster. Let's freaking do out. I mean, a lever right there. We can't reach that. We need to find a way to make our way up there. And I can already see it just across this platform. Oh, okay. I hear these dudes whispering. They're telling me to come through here. That I will, my friend. That I will. Nice and low right here. Aha, I see. Now it's time we actually climb on the time. Okay, I'm not even going to make that, but I'm stopping right now. We get one chance with these. Okay, here we go. Yes, look at that. Pull the switch. And I think that changes something. I think it lifted up whatever this thing is here. Inside we go. So it's going to hit us off the edge and straight up. Okay, this is progression. This is nice. We already know that we need some of these darts in order to help us climb over. And then we're going to need to use one of the paper airplanes to fly over also. Then we need to knock this guy and then jump atop it. Whilst this weird dude is just casually watching a small man flying on a paper airplane with huge darts. I don't want to explain the context because I don't know. I think I'm going to do the lowest one to the right-hand side because then if we mess up, we can just simply click the darts. That is after this one. So we're going to make a nice little walkway just like so. And I think this right here, maybe that's good. All right, there we go. And we're up. So the final arrow then directing us. We're going to make a leap of faith, guys. And we've got to pull the switch to get this place illuminated. Let's freaking do this. And give me that space option. Woo! And we're all done in here, guys. We are all freaking done. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Oh, wait, they were booze, weren't they? Uh... Oh. All right, so that's all done. Can we just enter this thing and take a look around? Uh, nice, nice, nice. Now, I mean, it's got to be awkward when the neighbor has guests around and they're like, Oh, can you get me some orange juice? I mean, sure. Let me just climb up into this place real quick. Now we go into the basement with our fully kitted out set of abilities. This is it, guys. This right here should be the last time we ever have to enter the basement. Looks good, right? All normal. I mean, apart from this. Psych! There's not even a washing machine here. I don't know what the freak is happening truly just yet. Though I do believe this is all part of our imagination. And we're back where we began really in Act 1. You remember this sequence right here when we found the basement for the first time? Let me just start by turning this TV off. We do not need any distractions to alter our thoughts. We need to try and figure out what is happening down here and how we pass what awaits us ahead. I'm talking about this guy right here. We've tried a few different things, but he's very quick. We've just got to find a way around him. I'm thinking maybe a swift dash. Trial and error, guys. Let me just... Hold up. Oh, oh, you hear breathing again? In the so there's someone down here as well. Other than the shadow dude, he's breathing behind that wall. So is someone still trapped down here? Can we maybe hide if I do this? I'm hidden. Oh. oh my gosh. Guys, I freaking- Oh, so we were hidden, but then he saw us instantly the moment we moved. Can we try this again? Wait, was that a door right there? I'm just gonna wait a little bit longer this time. We're still hidden. We can see the screen is waving. Hey, maybe wait until the sound goes. He's still there. He's still moving. He's still going. Oh, we needed this ability for that. Now oh, I think I can move. Oh, yes. Guys, we did it. And we are moving on through the basement. What the freak is this? It's literally as it was before, though there's a lot more pipe at you down here. Move this chair. Okay, we do not need to see this. Pop that just there. This is just straight chaos down here, man. There is... Okay, I heard like a break. I'm not going to acknowledge it, okay? Okay, we're going to face plant this wall. I mean, if it works, why the freak not? This door is open. Though, I think, yeah, there's a huge gate covering this from us. Can we run and jump this? Oh my goodness, we didn't even need to do nothing else. Simple run and jump, and I guess this is it. Let's do the- What the fr- Out space! Sit the freak down! You already know we can take you out. Whoa. We barricaded off. The neighbor was so angry. Wait. 
What? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Why is he s He's sad? Why is the neighbor... He... Okay, that is aggression right there, but I think in the sense that he's frustrated. So, why would the neighbor be frustrated about us accessing... I don't know if the thing's down here. The neighbor really didn't want us to go. He tried catching us for a reason. He did not want us to see what lurks. The door. We ran to this, right? And there's nothing barricading it this time. Okay, so why didn't the neighbor... Want us to see this. Ah, the big sequence I think is upon us right here. Can I look through this? Nothing. We've transported into another realm. We've got a guy next to what appears to be the bed. Is that us? I mean, there's the guitar. Is this the kid that the neighbor took? Is that what it's trying to say? If we go to the window, I still see nothing. Okay, man, I take that statement back. He's here, all right. He is looking straight at us too. He knows that we're here. And he's probably not going to be happy. I got to think, what does this represent in the grand scheme of things? Can I do anything? Wait. Woo! All right, then. And then he's going to swipe the freaking top of this. Take a swift duck. It's just as it was before. He's so mad. Thumping his fists and he stands up. Now we have to work on whittling this guy down. <gasps> Whoa. Wait, what? What is he doing? He made like a big sound. If I recall, step one is to hit this switch right here, which in turn triggers something. All right, that should be good. And oh, first freaking try, let's get it. Yes, I remember we have to walk along the antenna of this radio. We get onto this shelf just here. And in turn, we have to get inside of the toaster and it's gonna launch us very high. Which side is the best for this? That's what I'm thinking. We gotta try and land on one of these platforms here. Let's try this one here. Push ourselves up straight front. Okay, this looks good. Oh, okay, no, I've misjudged. I've misjudged and I got no umbrella. I mean, I don't even know what to say. I don't even know what to say. Hold back just a bit. Okay, this should be good. Perfect. Oh, we need to get on this one here. Oh, and we just managed it. So we hit the switch. It is going to make this pull itself up. So we've got to be very fast. Hit the switch. Okay, hit the switch. Okay, got to go down. Got to go down. Right, we got to make this jump. Double jump on. First try. This is perfect. Then comes the long way up. And we can see the neighbor down there. He is ginormous, but we are going much higher than what he could ever achieve, even at that massive size. So we got to take one of these items. Anyone will do. Smash the window. We are climbing straight through into this place. Here we go. I got to take one of these. Just give me one. Give me freaking one. Give me a break. Actually, you know what? Before I get the umbrella, give me a break to get one of them things, okay? We got to do the whole thing again. Oh, wait. They're on the floor. That is perfect. Okay, I like that addition that we don't have to do it every single time. With the umbrellas, we've got to try and figure out what the next step is. There's a few things we can do. We're going to be launched very high, and I'm going to deploy the umbrella and drift right over here first. Okay, I hear the neighbor likes baseball. Roughly in a straight line here, that should go straight in. All right, looks like it's going to funnel through, and boom, straight to the knee. Let me just try one more of these things. It did seem like it affected him, but is he dodging it? He's dodging it. Maybe then for step one, we've got to get the roller coaster to hit straight into that red building there, and then we can progress from there on out. Popping up these small platforms here. There is our control panel. So we press the big red button, and off it goes. Dang, this thing's going quick. Oh my goodness, and it is going to break that thing. Dang! I think then we lower ourselves back into the toaster. I'm going to deploy the umbrella from the get-go, and we've got to try and land now in the broken house. There's some goods in there for us that we need to use, which is going to help us light something just down there. If you guys didn't see it, we're about to have a fireworks show right here, but we need some form of flame in order to light the initial go. That, that didn't make sense, did it? And dang it. Neighbor, how about we just postpone this for a second? I mean, check out these birthday cake slices like. We are eaten for years in this place with slices this good. I mean, portion sizes. Oh. Back down we go anyway. We've taken the candle with us. What we need to do is simply light the firework here. Now, I don't know if this is phase number one. I think it may be. Let's do this. We light this. Here it goes. Here it goes. It's illuminated. Woo! And it's going to hit him straight in the face. That's it. So now he's a little bit blinded. He's a little bit staggering too. With that distraction. Now we're going to try the baseball part of this. There we go. Finally, that hit him in the knee. So do we need to use the uh, arrow for the uh, other knee? Okay, here we go. It definitely hit him again. Now he's definitely prone. All right, so I think we have one final launch now over onto this platform, and we can get into the house on his back. First try, we've made it. And the house on his back is still absolutely barren. There's nothing there. I presume we still got to do it this way. Okay, watch for the movement. Here we go. Double jump. We landed. What? What is... Okay. Okay, now... This is where everything could change. Missing posters absolutely littering the place. I mean, look at this. They're raining from the sky. It's like the dust of this place. Very 
interesting. Wait, what? There's the guy behind him. Who is he? And that looks like the grave. Did the neighbor dig a grave for the missing person? I don't entirely know just yet. Let's process though, guys. The neighbor was involved in some kind of accident. I think maybe his child died. That may explain one or wait, maybe it wasn't his child. He maybe could have hit someone. I'm not 100% sure. There is a second person on there also. I don't know who the second missing person is. There is only one doorway here too. This one here. And that does say the exit again. Maybe appropriately named. This could be it. What? That's us. That's us. What are we doing? We're like playing with. No. Hold up. Wait. Okay, I don't want to say anything. So the plane crashing into the car? Because that's the neighbor's car and that's ours. What is he doing now? Uh, whoa. Okay. Where's he going? He looks so timid. Wait, what's he trying to show us? Oh, no. Oh, my goodness. Okay, so he's scared. Of that? But why? What do we have to do? He's taking us upstairs. I'm gonna follow? Guys. I don't even know what's happening right now. Is this like an interactive cutscene or something? Okay. Okay. Oh my god! We can't let this happen. I think there's a way for us to stop this, maybe? Can we talk to the kid? Move him? We can't do anything. Let me, uh, I don't know. Lecture myself? Uh... <laughs> the intensity of the sound the kid gets here. How do we stop him if he's already, like, running up the stairs? Like, can I stand in front? Um, like, I can't protect the kid by standing in front. Um, wait. Yes, I can. I stood in front of the kid. Do we have to just stand in front of him wherever he goes? Are we, like, a uh, protection of some kind to him so maybe he can't get hurt? He's running. He is running. Whereas I can't fit under here. Maybe I gotta go the other way. So if he runs that way, can we maybe go behind here? Yes. Wait, it's probably here. It's probably... Oh, here he is. Okay, I gotta get in front of him again. Okay, I think I'm good. I protected him again. Wait, why am I, uh, why am I getting taller right now? I feel really tall in comparison to this kid. Okay, I'm gonna go this way here, and I'm gonna jump down. Do I, uh, do I climb this here? I think I gotta climb this as, like, a giant version of myself. Where's he going? Where's he going? Watch him. He might sit just here. Okay, stand in front again. Let me crouch. Okay. There's three out of three, and he's still good. So wait, now what do we do? What the heck is going on? I think now I gotta go down the stairs. I don't think I'll fit though, so maybe I'll just drop down like this. I don't know where I go from this point on. Maybe this way. He wait, where's the kid going? Oh, it's too late. It's too late, but I know next time. Come on, let's go quick. Quick, 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 quick. And I wait somewhere down here, I think. Yes, here he is. I still don't entirely know what this means. Okay, follow the kid. Straight in front of him. We crash. He's good again. So that was number four. Is there another wave to this, maybe? Wait, we can use this. Yes, okay. Running around. This is definitely for our size. We gotta be quick. I sure hope I got enough time right here. This looks like the final one. Straight in front of him. Let's crouch, protect him. Okay, you are not defeating us this time. I guess. What the freak? What did that mean? What did that mean? What? Whoa, 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 hold up, hold up, hold up. Something just... Okay, let me just process. I know we have an exit, but I'm going over to this right here. This is our house of some kind. We've got to share things. <gasps> what? Hey, hey, man. How's it? <gasps> whoa, who's there? Who's there? Who's there? Who's there? <gasps> the... Th what? Wait, 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 wait. What's he doing? Is he about to give himself up to it? Door is barricaded. You don't have to. The exit for him is right there. The neighbor is right there. There's a door barricaded between himself and whatever this thing is. Look, it waits at the door. It's like angry. You know, it's doing all the hand gestures and stuff like that. It wants to get to the neighbor, but it can't. Is maybe the neighbor trapped in this kind of whatever this state is like purgatory? I don't really know. That's a lot to take in and try and figure out on a first try. It's very, very subliminal with the way it's trying to delve things out and it's very also like it's trying to tell you what is going on there with just a visual representation no word spoken we've got to try and figure out what that means on our own so the door is open look how bright this thing is it's the way out and it's just us and this right here we have to leave this behind with the neighbor trap with the thing and then there we go we can just simply leave what now we're waking back up so we did come home in act three we slept it off it's the pizza van. Whoa, whoa, whoa. That was strange. 
It's like, whoa, okay. I would sort that door before it kills you, my dude. Yeah. I probably didn't do... Hey. Whoa, what? Hold up. This is, uh... Interesting. And then what is happening? He's like taking all of his stuff out and he's gonna start building his house back up as though he's moving back home. In fact, I think that's exactly what is happening with this guy. But the question is why? Why is he simply just moving back in? That's the ending. There's an ending right there. That meant something. Hmm. Yeah, hmm, indeed. So he's unpacking his car, taking things away. This music to me kind of tells me something tranquil about this whole thing. What was with Act 1 and 2? We got to piece those together and then think what it meant for Act 3. It's safe to say that Act 3 happened all in this character's head right here. All of what he was thinking about was, uh, I guess, in a dream. Some kind of bad dream. Some kind of bad focus with the neighbor. Truly, what? It's still hard to figure out, like, because then it makes you think, does, was Act 1 and 2 just this guy's imagination? Is this whole thing just, uh, like, a, a jumble of stuff? We saw ourselves playing with the toys, right? It looked like our car and the neighbor's car, and then somehow a freaking airplane came in. But our character is still just, he's just taking out all the boxes and taking them in his house. I don't truly understand. Why? There's so many questions! Where's the neighbor? What happened to the neighbor, you know? Why is this house burnt down as it is? Like, there's so much that is left unanswered. All right, guys, so I'm just starting the camera back up 10 minutes after ending. I'm actually starting to think now, and it's making more and more sense, that perhaps the huge shadow guy was somehow the person that the neighbor unintentionally murdered. We had, like, the car crash. Next thing you know, we're in some kind of, like, hospital sequence. I think somewhere along the line, when we witnessed that or kind of saw that the neighbor was capturing people and things like that, that kind of implanted in our brain. And almost like the shadow man was our representation of what the neighbor must have felt or almost what the missing child was. We saw the sequence with the little child version of ourselves. We were playing with two cars, what looked to be the neighbor's car, and then also our one, which we own currently. We were crashing them and stuff. And then there was, like, that weird, huge monster outside trying to get to us. And it's almost like that was our own nightmares. By us then when we're older, blocking our younger self from re-experiencing that, it's almost like overcoming the anxiety of it, which kind of explains the fresh outlook that we have during this end sequence here, where we're packing boxes back into our, I guess, old house. We're kind of putting the past behind us, and we're coming back into this life, and we're thinking fresh, and just, I don't know, I guess everything else is just settled, though I don't still entirely know about the second missing child. Perhaps there's some links there, and I mean, maybe you guys do know, but I just wanted to get that in before we end the video. But there we go, guys. That is a full playthrough of Hello Neighbor. I mean, it's been a wild 14 months. I think it's been about that long since I first ever started. We went from the test build of the game, which was like a proof of concept, to this, the finale game, and we're at the ending of the final product. Crazy little journey, guys, but hopefully you have enjoyed this, and I'm pretty sure there's gonna be new stuff coming out. Like, there's gonna be people modding this game. There's gonna be, like, cheats so we can explore outside the map, and you already know that it's tradition for this game. We'll be back doing that when we can. But if you guys did enjoy this video, why not drop me that like rating? And hey, if you're new around here, why not subscribe for more videos just like this one right here? So thank you so much for watching this video, guys. I, of course, hope you did enjoy, and I will, of course, see you on the next one.